going to see a continuation of you know this uptrend or if we're going to get a pullback so our polka dot you know massive move right here uh, all the way up to 516 uh, I think a pullback, a pullback is definitely needed. Now, you know, my next target is, you know, $7 and, you know, 71, uh, 73 cents. So this, you know, wouldn't be a surprise. Another 10% move uh, if the entire cryptocurrency market uh, continues to rally. If Polkadot goes all the way up to 575, this is going to be very, very exciting, guys. Uh, the reason why that is going to be very exciting is because this range right here that is currently acting as a resistance is going to flip and become a support. And you can see, you know, we have, you know, some confluence in this range right here. So if we were to rally, you know, all the way up and come all the way down here, you are going to see a lot of buyers you know, right down in this range. And, you know, that, you know, pushing the price of polka da higher would not be a surprise. So this is, you know, where we are right now is, you know, a key range uh, for the price of polka da in the short term. Uh, we have broke above the 21 daily EMA. Uh, the question is, are we going to see something like this, right? Or are we going to see, you know, something like this right here? You know, these are the two scenarios that we have right now. Are we going to see this or are we going to see this right here? Uh, of course, again, a lot of work is needed and, you know, time is needed. So I am not expecting you know, polka dot to to go on this crazy run where you know it's trading around thirty dollars in the next couple of weeks or even you know in the next uh couple of months. Uh but looking at you know where things are right now, uh we are currently extreme well we are approaching the extreme overbought uh territory. Uh you can see a pullback is you know, it's beginning. If you go down to the one hour time frame, uh, it actually looks much better. Uh, RSI on the one hour, you know, way up in the 70s. Uh, price, you know, well above uh, moving average. And whenever you have a distance like this, where, you know, the price goes, you know, further away from uh, your moving average, I always anticipate a pullback. So, you know, looking at some potential pullbacks, you know, I think Polkadot is going back uh, below $5. And, you know, Lovos is uh, 497 And you also have 483 And you also have right down here around $0.470. Cents.